Hi Capricorn, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. Energies can be reversed. If the messages are not for you, check your other signs or check back next time. What are the messages, please, for Capricorn? Okay, Page of Pentacles. Moon could be dealing with a Pisces. There's somebody here that's interested in you, uh, Capricorn. Cancerian energy. They could be distant. Okay, this person keeps a distance from you. Uh, you know, they're keeping a distance from you because they don't want you to see them up close. What is that? They don't, you know, the moon talks about having hidden feelings. And I feel like this person knows that if they come around you or if they shorten this distance, you're going to, this is like someone who has trouble looking you, uh, it's almost like they don't want you to look in their eyes because it'll give them away or something like that. King of Wands. Could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. King of Cups. Well, it's somebody you like. If not love with the King of Cups unconditionally here. Or that could just be the kind of love you're wanting to give out. So the King of Wands, you are highly attracted to this person. But it's just, I keep seeing something about avoiding eye contact. You both could be avoiding eye contact here. Because the attraction is so strong. Let's see. Judgment. Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, energy. I feel like you're waiting for this person to decide, okay, or not necessarily waiting, but it's almost like you're leaving it up to them. The ball is in their court. How do they see Capricorn? How do they see you, Capricorn? Ten of Wands. They could see you as someone who has a lot on their plate or that you work really hard. Page of Cups. They like you. This is a crush, guys. You got somebody crushing on you. This person could be... There could be an age gap here for some of you. Not, it doesn't have to be a large age gap. Some of you it is, but I'm getting an age gap. Page of Wands. They're very interested, guys. They want to approach you, but it's stressing them out with the Ten of Wands. They're, they think that you're, you don't have time for them, or they would be a burden. That would be a burden. They're, you know, definitely overthinking here, making something a, a bigger challenge than it has to be. For some of you guys, you could be giving off the impression that you don't want to be bothered. All right, or they're just, that's how they, that's what they feel. Okay. Um, what do they want from Capricorn? Tens, uh, a long-term partnership. We have two tens here. Okay. They want, they see the end game. All right. They want you to be their end game. Okay. Uh, they want stability, all the things that come with a partnership. Death card. For some of you guys, they may want you to end something here. I'm not quite sure what. The specifics are going to be different. Scorpio energy. It's almost like wanting things to be different somehow. is interesting that death card can also talk about fear it's like they um, that's what it is so okay yeah 
or the clarification. Thank you, Spirit. So, guys, the reason why this person is making this a bigger challenge than it has to be is because they fear the very thing they want. They fear it. They fear commitments, even though they want it. The death card is all about that fear, okay? Um, now, for some of you guys, they could want you... To, this is a general reading. And intuitively, there could be something they wish for you to end in your life. Um, if that does not resonate, don't take it. But the the main thing here is they fear the commitment that they want. That's why they're making this a bigger challenge, because they're afraid of it. You know, this is somebody that does value their independence, okay? Um, and, you know, being self-sufficient. I feel like for some of you guys, they could have recently got out of a situation. Maybe they're struggling to still get out of it for a few. And, you know, love could be a burden, but here they are. <laughs> here they are wanting you, Capricorn. So they're just, you know, something to be aware of is, is they do fear that partnership that they want. And somebody can come across as fickle. Right? This is a fickle energy. Let's see. Further clarification, please. Okay, yeah. Five of Swords in reverse. They don't like being this way. And I'm getting like, their intentions, I don't see them intentionally wanting to play games. They could still be doing it, though. The last person has a tendency to change their mind a lot. Another thing to know about this person, almost like once they enter the commitment, it's like they might have some sort of uh, doubt that it was the right thing to do. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. I know that was probably loud. I am so sorry. Okay. The star Aquarius energy. Yeah, this person really values their freedom, guys. Um, Four of Cups. They have, you know, and I don't, I don't really like that energy with the Four of Cups, the star. Like somebody could think you are so special, but ignore it. I mean, they, they're having a hard time ignoring you, clearly, with the Ten of Wands, the Page of Cups. Like, this person really likes you. Uh, Page of Wands, you know, they're really excited, like, to even see you, or they're just excited to talk to you. Um, there's a lot of excitement and uh, a lot of passion here, but it's a burden to them. And the star, you know, you're very unique and special. And, you know... It's kind of like this person wanting a clean slate in life. But the Four of Cups clarifying that energy, they have a tendency to not be satisfied. They have a tendency to ignore. They're ignoring what they want guys. That's what I'm getting. Because they're afraid of what they want. So they ignore it. I feel like this person may have a hard time being vulnerable, guys, even though they want to be. Yeah, the strength card, Leo energy. Biting their tongue. Okay. Biting their tongue. Holding back from what they truly want. What's the outcome here? Hmm. Whoa. So, uh, you know, this person, the outcome is, this is all about providing, you know, the connection stability. Being loyal to you, okay? Wanting to offer you stability. That Knight of Pentacles, especially with the King of Pentacles, it's a loyal energy. That's somebody who puts in a lot of effort. So I do feel like this person is going to be putting in effort. It might take them some time, though. Queen of Wands. 
So, you know, if this is a new relationship, I do see this person approaching you. All right, because they see something special inside of you. They see something um, special about this connection. They're feeling something special about this connection. It's just taking them a while to um, work out the details here. It's taken them a while to deal. And, and actually, you're going to want them to take their time. Guys, do not rush this person. Um, I feel like the best... What's, what's Capricorn's advice? Let me finish what I was saying. Allow this person, give this person time and space to work out uh, their fears because anything rushed ever, but especially for this situation, anything rushed is going to, um, it could potentially be ruined. But that's really just, I mean, any new connection. What is Capricorn's advice? Two of Wands. Again, I feel like that is a message of giving this person their space to giving this person time. When I see the world, I think about time and give this person space to come to a conclusion and to make their own decisions. Two of cups at the bottom of the deck. Very likely they're going to be communicating with you here, okay, because they want to give you stability. And they think you are, Capricorn, they think you're sexy. Like the Queen of Wands, they, they just find you very sexy, um... Now, I, I almost get the feeling like somebody wants you to be their, like, trophy. Like, you're that beautiful to this person. Um, very unique beauty that you have, clearly. Um, and it's almost like they want to make you their trophy. Um, now, I, I don't see that being a bad thing. Some of you guys might feel like that's a bad thing, but, you know... They definitely view you as an accomplishment. However, what I'm worried about is they have a tendency to scare, get scared here. The very thing they want. Clarify this to uh, want the sun. Yeah, wow, Leo energy. Um, just give this person a little bit of space. I feel like a big message here is to be playful uh, and not be so serious, okay? And not take this connection so seriously. Now that's also within law of attraction. Two of Wands, the Sun, in order to attract what you want here is, you know, energetically not be overly focused on it. And the universe will respond to how you're truly feeling, okay? So you can't fake this kind of energy. But I feel like the uh, more easy going you are when it comes to this, uh, the more you're going to be attracting this person to you. And the more they're going to be working through their fears. But guys, big message here. They need to work on their fears. Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I do see potential outcome you two coming together and this person pursuing you. This could be through a DM, them approaching you, a text message, whatever it is. All right, Capricorn, those are your messages. Until next time, bye.